Hi everybody watching at home, welcome back to Walking and Talking with Phoenix. Uh, it's been a while, it's been a while since uh, we've had a chat and um, it's for a particular reason which I'll explain in a second. Um, but basically, you know, you've, for a good month or two there, every single day, I was getting this thing out and sharing whatever thoughts were on my mind at the time and it was you know, I was having a nice little run with it. I had some momentum going, and you know, it's not the biggest thing in the world, but it was a nice little ritual, you know, and it was like an ongoing project and something that I could continuously do and go home and upload and, and edit, and it was just fun, you know, it was kind of productive, even if it's totally, utterly pointless, you know. And then, for about a whole month, I think, you know, considering I was doing it every single day, for a whole month, I just stopped stopped totally dead turkey um, and you know the whole entire served daily premise of this food for thought food for your noodle was completely chucked out and invalidated and I'm back now to explain why basically about a month a month and a half ago which I think it's been that's how long it's been I was at home and I believe I had a really shitty day at work really shitty day and my friend, she likes to smoke the old ganja, you know, marijuana. And she had chopped up a bowl of this stuff and she'd left it just by the couch. All chopped and ready to be smoked right next to the, the bong, you know, everything you need. And it was just that right combination and right timing, you know. I had a shit day at work, felt like crap. And I went into the lounge as I usually do to have a game or watch something or edit. And I saw the chop bowl, and I saw the bong, and I thought, you know, I've been off this shit for five months now. I've got such clarity about me. I've got such energy and motivation. I'm sure one cone won't hurt me. Just one cone. And I guess I kind of remembered all the, the nice parts of the past when I used to get high, and I used to enjoy just relaxing and appreciating whatever it is that's in front of me even more than usual, and writing when I'm high thinking this I'm in genius mode you know just in tune so I had a cone and for about an hour or two I got out my camera and I filmed myself acting like a total toss sorry man like a total toss at the time I thought it was gold you know I thought it was utter genius and then the next day when I was sober and looked back on what was recorded I was like all right that's kind of uh, kind of embarrassing actually definitely not going to be uploading any of that anytime soon so nothing really fruitful became of the whole venture um, but even worse than that you know it wasn't that nothing came out of it it was that that one experience that one time hitting what I had put down for five months totally took me back a few steps quite a few steps um, yeah, and I found that, you know, I lost all motivation to do anything. Seriously, I, you know, stopped filming my what segments and I stopped having ideas and the clarity that I had at that point, which is only now returning a month and a half later after having one cone, right? And I was working out every single day, I had an exercise regime, I was pushing myself pretty hard. And, you know, it was a routine, it was comfortable, you know, after a while I felt like I didn't have to force myself, it's just a thing that I did. And I found even after, you know, one of them, BAM, I couldn't be fucked doing that anymore either. And I prefer to just stay in on the couch, play games, watch TV, start getting all lazy and uh, unmotivated yet again. And that carried on like that for a good month and a half right till this point where I've, I've made a pretty dead set choice in my head as soon as I get home I'm gonna hit the shed I'm gonna rub off the cobwebs from the dumbbells I'm gonna hit it hard again because I'm feeling motivated again but the point of this is that you know I stopped doing something because I thought at the time you know it's messing with my head it's messing with my motivation I'll be better without it and for five months totally in the clear I was, I was right and I was experiencing the benefits and being rewarded with the fruits of my abstinence and my discipline 
I had the clarity, I had the motivation, I was doing stuff every day, filming, uploading, editing, uh, exercising, all of this. And it was a very nice routine. And then I thought, you know, I'll just try this one thing, because how, how bad can it get just to have one cone? And literally, I couldn't force myself to do anything after that. And it wasn't just something that affected me, like people say, oh yeah, you know, when I smoke pot I get stupid, or I can't listen to people and focus on what they're saying properly for a few hours, you know, or maybe for a couple of days. But I actually think that maybe it's possible that there are lingering effects, and I know I'm Cadbury, I know things really affect me more than most other people, and everybody's affected differently, right, to different amounts. But the fact that there was a residual effect that lasted over a month in me, that can't help to me but hints at the possibility, in my eyes, that maybe with other people there is also a residual effect that lasts for longer than they could anticipate. Maybe it's not that noticeable, you know, maybe it doesn't affect them so extremely. But the fact that it was still in my system, I guess, and still affecting me, or that whatever it did to me at that one time, one cone, stayed in effect for over a month. I think that anyone that thinks that, you know, they can just hit that stuff and be fine the day after or the week after are kind of kidding themselves. Maybe they're fine enough to get by and do what they're currently doing or were previously doing, but I guarantee it would have some kind of effect that would, uh, you know, limit their capacity to do some things that they could have done better if they had not smoked any marijuana. So, and this is the point that I didn't really realize just how bad it was. I didn't realize how bad one cone could affect me or for how long until I actually had something to compare it to, right? Like some kind of routine to contrast my complete lack of routine. I mean, previously when I was smoking, I didn't really have a set routine for anything. I just do whatever I felt like, whenever I felt like doing it. And there was no calendar on the wall. There were no check boxes. And most of the time I spent my days pretty loosely, you know? And so I get high and I do what I do and I might do one productive thing here or there. But ultimately I had no idea how much it was diminishing my, my motivation and my clarity. I mean, I did have an idea, but it wasn't, I didn't rec realize how bad it was until I actually had a routine where I was actively doing stuff every day and exercising and, and everything, my, my side projects. And once I had that routine consistently and then hit the stuff and experienced the effect and how it totally set me back and diminished all of that activity and diminished all of that progress, I realized in contrast, shit, you know, and I think that's the case with a lot of people that might be in denial, that might underestimate just how adversely whatever it is they're doing is affecting them, is that you know, whether it be marijuana or whether it be any other drug or any other kind of addiction, I don't think people appreciate the gravity of how it affects them until they have a contrast. I mean, if you've been doing this, whatever it is you're doing, for long enough, consistently enough, to the point where your perception of normal and how you operate in a normal, when, you know, in a normal state, you know, it, you might not have enough comparisons of how you are sober, and I mean properly sober, I mean, I hadn't gone off the stuff for more than five months before in years, not since I was 15, had I gone five months without it. And after just five months, I felt that clarity that I hadn't felt in a long time, you know? And even now, like I said, I only had one cone, and altogether it's been now, what, seven months? Just with one, so I still feel a lot greater than I ever have. Not as good as I did beforehand but I feel it returning quicker now obviously if I was doing this stuff a lot more or I had more than just one you know I probably wouldn't be feeling my clarity returning so quickly but it was there it disappeared for a bit because I fucked up now it's coming back and I can appreciate that because I don't know I can see the difference between how I am now and how I was before you know, 
and how I was when I was super clarity and how I was before. So I think it's important if somebody, you know, if you have friends and family getting on your back about a habit and saying that they recognize effects that it has on you or it's not, if they're telling you it's not good for your health or whatever, consider the merit in their words and they're probably trying to help you and they're probably being genuine and they might even be accurate in what they're saying. And all I'm saying is that you can't really know if anything is slowing you down or diminishing your progress or limiting your capacity in any way if you never really have a routine way of testing your capacity of using your capacity to begin with if you never really had a routine way of you know doing things and being active so that when you do finally hit whatever it is you're hitting you can then go oh crap now I'm just sitting on my ass and I'm not doing any of that stuff this has affected me you know if you're generally not doing much anyway then you'll be like hey what's the difference and you can't tell the difference until you actually pick up your game and then do the same old thing and realize and find out the hard way how it lowers your game and does actually change things anyway so yeah there's your update take it easy guys I'll catch you next time yeah.